to my house. <laughs> Is that stupid? No. Are you sure? Today we are in quarantine. It is the period of Corona, if you're watching this from the future. And I decided what better, they're fighting. I decided what better time than now to do a home tour because we've been in our house for now 16 days straight and we've been organizing. I don't think the house has ever been this clean. So Mark's just filming and we're going to show you around our home. Right when you walk into our house, we have this is just like our shoe closet. I am gonna show y'all everything because that's what you wanna see, right? So this is where we keep our coats, some shoes, some purses. There's a light in there and then we close it up. And that closet is normally very, very messy. In here, I really feel like I've never shown you guys our actual living room, especially like this section. So here is our main living room. I get a lot of questions about this couch. We got it from CB2 right when we first got married. They don't make it anymore, but we have to have a gray couch because if we had a white couch, the dogs would destroy it in two seconds. Then over here we have this cute little, um, like, is this a bookshelf? Marcus and Camper. <gasps> Wait, I wanted to say before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Okay, let's keep going. And over here, we have a little sitting area. Camper and Honey use this area as their watchdog station. I think I actually filmed when Marcus and I made this. So we have some art up here. Built-ins are kind of tricky to decorate. So when I have them decorated like I like, I usually just leave it like that for a while. This is a mess. Don't look in there. Also, I need to mention I'm in a dress right now, even though there's no possible way I'm leaving the house today. I dressed up just for you guys. Just letting you know. Okay, so now we're in our kitchen and we've already done an entire kitchen tour. Kitchen? Chores. <laughs> we've already done an entire kitchen tour. So we'll just go through really quickly because we have changed up some things. Um, but I'll link the video where we did our whole kitchen tour down below. We just got some new appliances that finally worked because neither of them worked when we first got them. So that's very happy. This, this, this is like the main thing that's changed is our appliances, I would say. Our fridge. We also have the dog's eating station down here. We have a pantry right here. If you want to see inside the fridge, this is our fridge. And then we have my KitchenAid mixer, which I use all the time to bake. And then we have a bunch of cookbooks and a little veggie holder. We also have this little vintage bread box, which I don't think we had when we last did our kitchen tour. So we just keep our bread in here. It's very adorable. I should also mention this rug is the best kitchen rug ever. It's so affordable and I just love that it adds a little bit of color, but it's still neutral. I love this dog. Look, Camper says hi. Say hi. So yeah, that is our kitchen. Also, I think one thing that made me want to hold off on filming a whole house tour was we knew we wanted to get our floors redone. So we finally got them redone and I feel like I haven't done an official reveal. But here's the official reveal. And I feel like it's made our house feel a lot more bright and open. We also have this that we found at a yard sale for $15. This might have been our best find ever because wow, but we love this little thing. Now we have our, I guess, formal dining room. We usually eat all of our food at our little breakfast nook, but if we have a lot of people over, we eat here and um, then we have some stools over here that, does anyone ever sit here? Rarely. Sometimes. But you can just like hang out here. And I really like this whole, I think like this area of our house is my favorite part because it's just, oh, so happy and bright. One of my favorite things about our whole house is the character it has because it's a really old house. And like these like scalloped molding edges are so cute. And I feel like you can't find things like that in newer houses. We also have these big barn doors blocking our, like I think this would be considered like a linen closet. 
so it has a ton of storage in here. This is usually a huge mess, truly, but we just organized it because of quarantine. So over here we have some other things like blankets, baskets. Another quirk about our house is this. And I think we showed this when we first moved in, Marcus, but it's a little built-in ladder that goes to our attic and I just think it's very funny. Like that's funny to have like a whole built-in ladder. It's also pretty smart. Now for our first guest room, it is right through this door. So this is our guest room. This is where people stay when they come and visit us. Um, it's really simple in here, which I actually like. We have this gold bed frame, which I really love, that we got from the Pottery Barn Outlet. I didn't even know that's a thing, but it is a thing they have in California. Look at Camper. He always does this in here. He loves rolling around on the pillows. Why do you love it? I just keep a bunch of random things. As you can see, all these trash bags here, I went through all my clothes and those are all going to be donated. We keep our luggage in here, just your normal, you know, storage closet. And then in these drawers, I just keep a lot of like sweaters, some winter clothes. I also keep my Kristen made stash in here for when my friends come over. I'm like, hey, you want to love one another sweater? Hey, you want some hair scarves? So that's what I keep in here. And then I'll take you through this hallway. We have this cute little cutout with a little vase and some wheat. And over here we have some extra storage. I keep all of my shoes and hats and snow stuff up there. And then under here I keep all my sweatshirts. I just did a big sweatshirt clean out, so it's very organized. And then in here is our guest bathroom. Um, it's just very simple. They actually redid this bathroom before we moved in, and I really like how they did it, so it's nice. We got a little fake plant in here because there's no windows in here, so that's kind of sad. We were actually thinking of putting a skylight up there to get some light, but I don't really know. And through this door is my office, also my closet. You guys have definitely seen this room a lot because I'm always filming in here. Here is what it looks like. You want to do a little overview? I really wanted this room to feel simple but inviting because I'm always filming in here. Um, Marcus and I built these shelves. I get so many questions about these. Basically, we just got wood from Home Depot and these um, little pegs from the plumbing section and we just hung them up. It was super inexpensive. And then over here is my closet. Marcus and his dad built this for me from Ikea um, stuff. So here's where I keep all my dresses and workout stuff. And then I keep my sweaters and shirts and things over here. This is my like makeup storage chest. This is where I keep all my makeup um, in here, this is from Urban Outfitters. And then I have an essential oil diffuser, a little speaker, hung up some hats. This mirror is my favorite thing. It's from West Elm and I love the shape of it so much. I also have this cute little thing from Urban Outfitters. It's supposed to hang on the wall, but I just put it here as like a little stand. I have a clothing rack here that I keep all of like my newer clothes on so I can remember to wear them because Oh yes, we used to have a door right here. It led into our master bathroom and then we closed it off so that we could have a bigger master bathroom. And this is not good that it's cracking, probably. One day when we have a baby, we'll probably turn this into the nursery because it makes and most then sense. Blast that hole through the yeah, and then remake the door. Now we are back to like the kitchen and living room area and I'm gonna show you guys um, this half of the house. So this room was really hard to decorate because it's such a strange layout. There's stairs there, stairs here, and we were a little bit perplexed when we first moved in on what to do with it. So we have a dog bone here, so I'm going to put that in their toy box. So we have a piano over here that's really beautiful that we actually found at a thrift store. And Marcus had the really good idea to keep it kind of open at the front, so it looks really cool. Some art that I painted, and we also have a very old cactus over here. 
and a snake plant over here. You guys have seen my little plant wall section. So this is just where we have some cute plants on this Ikea bench, which this is a very cute bench from Ikea, I must say. And then over here we have um, a little couch from Urban Outfitters with the gallery wall with a bunch of things I painted. Yeah, what else can I really say about this room? You know what I just noticed? What, what is that up there? Is that's, that a speaker? That's a, the last sensor that they had that installed for the pool. Oh, okay, I was like, is someone watching us? Okay, over here we have another little sitting area. I actually really like this little part, but no one ever sits here, truly. Honey sometimes jumps up on here and likes to chew her ball right here. And then in here is the only other place in the house that I would like to kind of redo a little bit because I'll just show you. Okay, so this bathroom is just not really that cute. It has like this blue tile, this ugly mirror, and we are definitely gonna redo this bathroom one day, do tile on the floor. And then this is our laundry room. We have our washer and dryer here. We have a few plants. We have some just random stuff over here, laundry basket. And then we have our bedroom. Welcome to our bedroom. So this is our room and we actually redid a lot about this room recently. So we got this new carpet that I love. It's from Rugs USA and it is the best rug ever, honestly. It's so easy to vacuum. It's the perfect color. And then we also got a headboard for our bed because we didn't have a headboard for so long. And I told Marcus, I really think that we should get a headboard. And it really has made the room feel way cozier. So this is actually from Pottery Barn and it is a beautiful headboard, I must say. And then we have a Chinese evergreen plant, this beautiful macrame that my friend made for me. Beautiful. If you don't have a diffuser by your bed, you really should get one because it's so relaxing to fall asleep with some delicious essential oils. We also added this mirror over here in this corner, which has really helped, I feel like, open up our room because it's definitely not the biggest bedroom, but I feel like this any type of mirrors really help with making your house feel more open, bright. And then we've done a whole bathroom renovation video on my channel, so you guys have seen this bathroom already probably. But here it is. And would I choose white tiles again? I don't know. They're really hard to keep clean, but it does look really nice, so I don't know. This little shelf that Marcus and his dad built can you see the theme that Marcus and his dad built a lot of things for our house? This little Hoya that I love so much. He was really cute. He loves his spot right here. And then over here we have the biggest house plant in our whole house. This is a pothos and it's ginormous. When we got it, it was probably like up here and it's just grown and grown. And Marcus and I love this plant. It's even stringing over the curtain it's gotten so long. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys our outside area. And I have to brag on Marcus really quick because he completely redid it and designed it all. So let's go. We have a pool and a hot tub that camper goes in every single day. Is he gonna do it now? Probably. This used to be all concrete and our hedges have grown so much. Um, whenever I post out here, I usually get questions on how we did this. So. It's basically just wires um, in the form of X's, and then Marcus has just been training the vines to go up, up, up. Okay, welcome to Marcus's office. We actually did a whole like office renovation video on our joint channel if you want to see like the whole process of us redoing this room. But now there's something very special because when you enter through this door, which is across the valley, which yes, you. A shed. How do you go turn on the lights here? Look at this ultimate man cave. But it's really cool that you have a space to put all of this. 
So guys, that is our entire house tour. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know you've been waiting a while for it. So it's been really, really fun to decorate this house and make it feel like home. And I really do love everything that we've done to it. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you very soon. Bye.